Oh, hey, it's Rob. And I'm out in the backyard today, uh, mostly because we're in the midst of outdoor project season. <laughs> and I'm not the only one doing outdoor projects. Uh, but this one is a little bit of a special one. Um, need to cut the lawn. And uh, I haven't had a lawnmower for a while. I've been lucky enough to have someone else be cutting the lawn, but that is uh, I'm no longer something that's going on. So I've been trying to find a lawnmower. Now you may have seen the one where I tried to resurrect the electric one and that was not successful. Uh, so I decided to break down and get a new one. And I wanted to get a battery operated one. The really, really expensive. Um, so I saw one that was what I thought was a good price. I mean, I, this was less than one that was used that I found, so uh, I decided to go with it, give it a shot. I have my usual helpers here today. Uh, Piper is here. Uh, she's not been feeling good lately. And Isis is, I don't know, she's figured out some place to hide. Probably under the, under the deck. Oh yeah, there she is. It's nice and cool under there. Okay. Uh, it's a little warm today, but here's what I got. This is the 40 volt brushless 20 inch lawnmower from Ryobi and it uses the 40 volt system. Now I already have a trimmer that uses 40 volt system so I'm not entirely going with a whole new system of batteries but uh, this uses this comes with a 6 amp hour and I picked it up at a big box store which shall remain nameless but is uh, orange in color. I'll let you figure that out. <clears throat> and we're gonna open it up and see what it's like on the inside. <clears throat> right. I'm gonna put you on the stand so I can do this with multiple hands. Alright, first thing. This is the cheapo little charger that comes with it. This is not the high-speed charger. Uh, I already have the high-speed charger, so this is just a sort of a secondary. Comes with plug-in power supply. Set that aside. I guess we're just going to pull this out. Okay, that's easy. Alright. So I'm lifting this up. This is the battery box. So it's a nice, <laughs> uh, nice 40 volt, 6 amp hour battery. And yes, I said battery, not battery. Uh, I consider myself to be South Canadian. <clears throat> That's a pretty good size honking battery. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go into another little uh, whole thing on this one. This has got some really interesting stuff. Okay. Uh, just to let you know, the batteries when they come are not fully charged. They're kind of in a mid state, so you're going to need to charge the battery before you. bag. So, let's pull those little cardboard beasties out. And we'll pick it up. Not very heavy. bits. Moved out of the way. Alright, on the inside, it's got a springy, <laughs> it's 
springy thingy here, but there is the compartment for the battery. Not sure. Oh, this is the start key. This has to be in place for it to run. So it's a nice disconnect. Uh, not a lot to be said about that. It is a place for batteries and it looks like for a spare, which is kind of nice. That's actually really nice if I get a, a spare 40 volt lithium 6 amp hour battery, but they're like 160 bucks from the store. Uh, might be able to find one online somewhere that's a little cheaper, but probably not. Uh, anyway, cool. Cool little thing I just found out. Uh, there is a rapid charger that comes with this that you can register and they will send you the rapid charger. Now I already have one of these, but uh, have them too, especially if it's free. Can't complain. All right, some cool things. Uh, this has got a quick height adjustment. And you grab this by the handle, and with this lever, you pull it out, and you can change it from low to high. And there are three, five, six, seven steps total. So that's not too bad. A little bit of a fluff there, but that's an assembly issue. I don't think that's a big deal. Now there is a plug here for the rear chute. Uh, you, well, if I remember right, pull this up. Yeah. Have to look at it. I know that I've seen this before, but you can pull this up and take it out and replace it with the bagger attachment. And the bagger attachment goes in here. I'll try and get a little bit of that later. Um, other than that, yeah. Pretty plastic. Pretty, pretty plastic. I don't really care. I mean, this thing is, my yard is pretty small, so it's not going to get a whole lot of, a uh, whole lot of abuse. Alright, first thing I'm not overly enthused about, uh, the mulch plug over here. Uh, you have to lift it up and pull it out. And it's just a friction fit piece of plastic. Uh, it does not go back in very easily. And that's a, uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but I suppose you're probably not going to be changing this an awful lot. So if you're just going to be mulching, leave it in. If you're going to be bagging, you know, take it out. If you're going to have, there is a, an accessory that you can get that is a side discharge chute. I didn't get that. Uh, I'm probably going to be bagging for now because I want to set up some compost uh, so uh, try and put the bagger on okay the bagger assembly pretty sure this is how it's supposed to go this side goes up uh, and we have writing on the side so we'll put the writing no right okay writing is on the top bottom of this is a solid piece the sides are nut so let's see these are plastic hook on type deals so I guess we'll try it this way This is exciting. Once you get these started, they go on pretty easy. And frankly, I've had other lawnmowers with bagging attachments, and this one is one of the nicer ones. <clears throat> Alright, that seems strange. 
I might have it on upside down. I guess we'll find out. That seems to be it. I don't think there's anything to clip on on the bottom. Let me flip it over and find out. Nope, the handle extension. Okay, first of all, these control it up and down this way. These pull it out and lock it. Now I'm pretty sure that you need this up and locked to be operating. And these are now locked in place. If you want to unlock the handle, pull these out and twist. Ugh. Yes, pull them out and twist. There we go. And then you can move the handle for storage or for positioning. For now, this. Nope, there is nothing here to attach it to, so it just rests on the bottom. Huh. I guess we will uh, see how well that works. Now, as I said before, uh, the other battery, the uh, battery that comes with it, is only half charged, but I do have this 40 volt one that I have fully charged. Now, it might be defective. I guess we're going to find out if it works. All right, to give you an idea, sorry about the traffic noise, it's uh, living on a busy street. So you can see the difference here. My neighbor has been uh, mowing quite well, and uh, we just had a whole bunch of rain not too long ago, so the grass is growing up. Now, I do have some issues with my lawn that we'll probably go into later, but uh, I've planted clover for cover enough for this year. Uh, clover is very friendly and it's uh, good for the soil, good for the bees, and I like that. But this is the area that I want to uh, want to try and trim up a little bit. This is Bruce the Spruce. He's doing, uh, eh, hopefully he's going to make it. Um, it's a long story behind Bruce the Spruce, but we're going to go. I also have these hills or uh, this berm that I need to do some trimming on, so we're going to see how well it works. Okay, to start it, we need to push this button here and then pull down this bale. killed my battery well all right but we know it works so here is at least the proof that it does work I will need to charge the battery and uh, we'll do some other uh, other bits and pieces So, first impressions. Uh, it's really quiet. I'm surprised at how quiet this is. It sounds like an industrial fan, uh, which is a really nice change from gas-powered lawnmowers, uh, which, you know, that's also really good for the neighbors. And it's a brushless motor, which is, I think, the most efficient that there is right now. 
uh, well, certainly in lawnmower <laughs> size. Um, there's something with the current, and I don't know if it's the battery that I've got, because it, it's a pretty sketchy battery. Um, it might just be the battery. It might be uh, something in the circuitry. But uh, I've had it cut out a few times. You can probably hear that in the, in the video uh, while I've been mowing. But uh, just take a little time and shut it off and you know let it come back and it seems to come right back so i'm guessing that's in the mower uh that's uh i think if you're dealing with relatively thick grass and this isn't rel this isn't super thick this is just i think normal grass grass has just been pretty tall so maybe that's it um, other parts seem to be doing okay it does fine on the hills uh, you know, it's like any other lawnmower, you have to, you have to wrangle it around a little bit. But, uh, I'm not going to be able to cut the entire lawn with this. It's time I need to go in and get ready for, uh, get ready for bed and feed the dogs and all that fun stuff. So, anyway, uh, I'm impressed so far. Uh, we'll find out more as I get to use it. Uh, neighbor Dave came over and he, uh, <laughs> I think he wants to use it too, which is perfectly fine. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of my thoughts. Hope this helped if you're looking at getting one. See ya.